As strong as the foundation it stands on, the National Music Museum is entering into an exciting new era. Thanks to years of planning and the generosity of our donors, in the fall of 2018, the NMM began a much anticipated $10 million expansion and renovation of its home in the historic Carnegie Building on the campus of the University of South Dakota in Vermilion. Now, after two long years of work, the expansion is nearly complete. In the new Lillibridge edition, guests are welcomed into a stunning two-story lobby, which will feature the museum store. Adjacent to the lobby are the Groves Gallery, which will feature changing exhibitions, and the beautiful Wanzak Performance Hall. The Performance Hall is acoustically designed to host the finest musicians in the world, as well as other cultural and public events. Together, the Changing Exhibition Gallery and the Performance Hall will allow the NMM to greatly enhance museum programs and the visitor experience. An updated conservation lab will be equipped to properly care for our instruments and provide an engaging space for further study of the NMM's collections. A designated photography lab to digitally archive and share the NMM's treasures, and the new Wollenberg Administrative Offices will bring our staff together and allow room for growth. Since originally built as a library on the campus of USD, the Carnegie Building has undergone several renovations. This latest addition has not only provided much needed updates to accessibility and, thanks to the generosity of the University of South Dakota, a museum quality air handling and temperature control system to provide a safe, secure home for some of the world's oldest and most important instruments, such as the earliest known surviving cello, the Amati King, made in the 1500s for the French royal court, the Neapolitan harpsichord, one of the world's most historic keyboard instruments created in the time of Michelangelo, Martin Luther, and Henry VIII, and still able to make beautiful music nearly 500 years later as well as modern wonders to excite a new generation of museum goers, like our Explorer guitar, once owned by rock star John Entwistle of The Who. This historically sensitive and architecturally stunning expansion and renovation has provided a beautiful, clean campus for our next work to begin. Through the next year, NMM staff and curators will be working to re-exhibit our collections in advance of our grand reopening in 2022.